We have with us Mohammed Khalid, who is the Regional Senior Solution Engineer for Acronis. Nice to have you, Mohammed. Could you nice. tell us a bit about yourself and introduce yourself and your role at Acronis? Thank you very much for being with us here in Acronis uh, Summit in Dubai 2021. And thank you for being with us. Uh, my name is Mohammed Khalid. I am the Senior Solution Engineer, mainly focused on the pre-sales in the entire Middle East region covering around 12 countries in the region. And my main focus on the pre-sales side, so making sure to the customer requirements is fulfilled by our solutions and mapping all the products that we have, the services features that we have, make sure it is fitting the customer requirements and give also the best effective pricing for the customer requirements. Could you tell us a bit about cyber protection and what Acronis's role is in that? Yes, the word cyber protection is really innovative word because it makes between two components, the data protection from one side, another secu cyber security from the other side. And from here, we came with the cyber protection to make sure that you always have a backup for your data. You, you always have a data protected and you have your own backup copy as well as cyber security because Backup is not enough nowadays. When you think that my backup is okay and I, if I have a disaster, if I have an attack, I will format my system and restore from backup, it is not really working like this. You must have the cyber security as well. And from here, the world of cyber protection came with a mix of data protection as well as cyber security. Nice. And what's Acronis' uh, role in that? Yeah. Acronis made it from two sides. We have version available on-prem that customers can use it, end user can use it at home, customers can use it in data center, as well as the cloud edition. And we did a lot of innovation recently on the cloud, specifically in the recent situation when we have like the last two years, everyone is working from home and all of this. So we start to make all our services available on the cloud to make sure that these services can be delivered to any kind of customer from SMP level. So the value added over here that you have the flavors of all products that you may need, starting from the data protection to antivirus, anti-malware, endpoint management, cybersecurity, disaster recovery. We added recently also email security. So all of these components are working together to make sure that the customer will be fully protected end to end with a simple and cost effective solution. So if you could tell us a bit more about Acronis' Cyber Cloud Suite and what differentiates it in the market. Yes, yes. As I mentioned, the cloud service is really important nowadays, especially after working from home and after being disconnected from the office. Now, the cloud service is really important. And when you have multi-services, multi-tier, multi-tenant solution, it's giving you the value that you are looking for. It really differentiated. It is really differentiated from other products because, you know, when you have one vendor giving you the backup, another vendor will give you the disaster recovery, one vendor giving you the cyber security, maybe another vendor giving you the patch management and the endpoint management. Acronis is giving you all of this in one console. One console, one interface, one tenant, one service provider, one support and one vendor at the end. And here is the beauty of the product. No complexity, very easy to deploy, very easy to implement and very easy to manage as well. This is really the differentiation of Acronis CyberProtect Cloud in front of any other products. So how has Acronis evolved its solutions, especially over the last couple of years where we've seen with COVID a lot more, a higher surge in companies being forced to work from home? How has Acronis pivoted and adapted to cater towards the needs of companies? So what happened, we were monitoring the market. We were monitoring the challenges that faced by the customers because first they get out of office. The backup got stopped because it was fully managed locally. Backup is locally, it was stopped. Then the endpoint the management and the security updates and all of this, you need to be in the office to be able to retrieve all of this. So from here, the customers start, start to getting the pain of their uh, environment. And from here, Acronis start to think in a different way. Why we should not shift all of this to the cloud? From here, we start to put everything on the cloud and to make it easy access. So today with the solution Acronis Cyber Protect Cloud, the user at home, backup is running, you are monitoring as a company admin, you are monitoring your end users, patch management is working and systems are updated, taking backup before updating the system to make sure you are secured, scanning your backup with cyber security, anti-malware. Anti so we are giving the whole suite to the end user and also the customer working from anywhere 
it is only needed to be connected to the internet. Once you are connected, the management is okay, the cybersecurity is okay, the data protection is okay, and the endpoint control as well is favorable. So this is the value added in the last two years to serve our customers. And this is the way of Acronis, that we listen to the customer pains. We understand the customer pain. We listen to their feedback. We listen to our service providers. Tell us what are challenges you are facing. One of these also, it was updates. So regular updates on the cloud was painful to the service providers. We did innovate a component in the solution to make sure that patches or agents are fully updated by itself. Just a one month update coming, within second day it will be automatically updated. So we are trying as much as possible to reduce the complexity and to make it easy from, from all sides, from the end customer interface till the service provider management as well. Are there any new evolutions or things we can expect in 2022 that you're allowed to tell us about? Yes, we have our CTO Oleg over here explaining to us the roadmap for 2022. And we have many things coming on the way. We will integrate the advanced security along with EDR solution. Recently, we did many acquisitions to improve the security component. We did 5.9 acquisition. Cyberlinux acquisition, we did also device lock acquisition, uh, Neutron acquisition. So all of these cybersecurity companies, we got it into our portfolio to just empower the security of our solution and to make sure this will deliver to the customer the main secure product that he is looking for. As well as we are working on more features to come for advanced DLP as well. So this will also coming in 2022 to make sure that every single component of the customer will be secured from the end user machine till the back end systems to make sure about full cycle are secured end to end from any cyber security attacks. Amazing. Mohammed, thank you. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you, Sabir, and enjoy with us uh, Cyber Summit 2021.